May 5th, St. Pius V. Antonio Ghisleri was born in Italy in 1504. At the age of 15, he entered the Dominican order, taking the name Michael. In 1528, he was ordained a priest and taught philosophy and theology for 16 years. In 1556, he became a bishop and the next year a cardinal. Ten years later, when the Pope died, he was elected Pope and took the name Pius V. Upon assuming the papacy, he proceeded to reform the papal court after the manner of the Dominican order. He eliminated many of the extravagant luxuries then prevalent in the court. He canceled the horse races in St. Peter's Square, and severe sanctions were imposed against blasphemy, adultery, and sodomy. This made him hated by many. He was even accused of trying to turn the city into a vast monastery. At this time, the Reformation was in full force. The Council of Trent had recently concluded, and to implement a decree of the Council, Pius V standardized the form of the Mass in the famous document, Quo Primum. Many great events took place during his pontificate. Pius V arranged the forming of the Holy League against the Ottoman Empire, and before the famous Battle of Lepanto, he ordered all of Christendom to pray the Rosary. When Don John of Austria was successful and defeated the Turks, Pius V instituted the Feast of Our Lady of Victory on October 12th. It is attested in his canonization that he miraculously knew when the battle was won, being in Rome at the time. Cardinal Newman said, St. Pius V was stern and severe, as far as a heart burning and melted with divine love could be so. Yet such energy and vigor as his were necessary for the times. He was a soldier of Christ in a time of insurrection and rebellion, when, in a spiritual sense, martial law was proclaimed. A year after the victory at Lepanto, Pius V died on May 1, 1572. St. Pius V, pray for us.